Hi everyone, welcome to the Simple Art at Home Summer Camp Art Series with me, Laura Houston. Get your art supplies ready because together we will get creative, learn about art, and have some fun along the way. I'll meet you at the art table. So for this lesson today, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and a good eraser, and hopefully you have a black crayon or a black pen, and then something to color with or something to paint with. If you are painting, you're going to want a glass of water or a cup of water to clean your brush. And this is an advanced lesson, and it's called Cezanne Style Apples. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So uh, I'm gonna begin with my pencil and we're going to be drawing what looks like a bowl with some apples in the bowl. And first I'm going to sketch very lightly with pencil. And um, if you can't see it, just hold on because I will go over it with a uh, black crayon but I first have to kind of get the placement of everything. So I'm just going to sketch and let's see, there'll be like a little foot on the bowl down here and somewhere over here, I'm going to put an apple outside of the bowl and let's put the edge of the table that goes right about here. Okay, that means the bowl is sitting on a table. We'll kind of have a shadow here and a shadow here and then let's sketch out where we want these apples to be. So we'll have, we want the apples to look like they're kind of halfway in the bowl. So I'm going to maybe put one like this and I'm gonna end up erasing this line here. We're just sketching first. I'll have another apple here. We don't want them all the same height. So this middle one's a little higher. I'll make this one a little lower. And then why don't we have one about right here and maybe another apple over here. So we're gonna be doing some erasing with our eraser, but uh, first I'm gonna get my black pen and I'm not gonna be shy with this black, I'm sorry, I, I said a black pen, I meant a black crayon. You can use a pen if you want to. Since I will be using watercolors, I like using a black crayon because the wax in the crayon helps to kind of separate the, the watercolor paint. So here's, this is one apple right here. Maybe we can put like a little uh, stem on it, something like that. Maybe you wanna make oranges, so um, that's fine too. You can put any fruit that you want in this bowl. And let's see, I'm gonna go in and close up these lines a little better. So as I said before, we're making this in the style that Cezanne would paint and we're just going to have some thick brush strokes or some, you know, kind of like, it doesn't have to be very finely painted. I'm gonna have some, some kind of like rough, um, rough marks here. So when it comes to these apples, I want this one to be, these first three will kind of be in front of the others. Be careful here. So notice how I'm doing this. I'm gonna erase the other pencil mark. So I have that one there. I'm going to make another apple right here. I'll do another one here so it's a little bit lower. And then why don't we put these behind? So this will just, we just see part of it. It's behind the others. Notice how I do that. It's behind and we'll put another one here. And let's go ahead and put some stems on all of these apples, something like this, just a little, just a little mark to make it a little interesting. So we know that it's some sort of a fruit in a bowl. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just put some, just a mark or a dot or something like that there. Okay. And it looks like maybe I'll just shade a little bit of this with my, with my crayon. And I'll explain uh, what's going to happen is 
our light source will be coming from this area here. So this side of the bowl will be darker and we'll put a little shadow down here, but I'm also going to add paint for that. And we'll put a little shadow here. And we're going, I'm gonna teach you how to kind of um, leave a bright spot, like a shiny spot on um, some of the apples. We're gonna paint it so it looks a little, sort of a little bit um, dimensional, just a little to make it a little more interesting. So we have this here. Okay, that's all uh, we're going to do for that part. Now I'm gonna take my eraser because I don't wanna get confused by some of these marks, some of the old pencil marks that are overlapping and I'm gonna to try to erase. I'm gonna be very careful around the black crayon because I don't wanna, I don't think black crayon smears too much but I'm gonna be careful not to drag my black crayon and smudge it across the white paper. There we go. And I'm just gonna carefully um, brush this off. Okay, there's a little bit more right here. Okay, so I want, I, I know already that um, I want my bowl to be, I want my bowl to be green because the apples will be red. So I'm gonna go ahead and start in with the paint. And if you're using um, crayons, that is absolutely fine too. And move these items to the side. Okay. So I said, let's see, my bowl was going to be green. So I am going to start and I might blend some of the colors too. Oh, before I forget, let's do this. Let's leave a little bright spot. So I'm going to do like a little oval. You can barely see that. Let me hold that up. You see what I did? Because we want a shiny spot on these apples. So put it in the same corner of every apple because that's where the light is coming from. The light is coming from over here. Don't, so take a moment to do that. We don't want to forget because we're going to color in the apples so they look a little dimensional. Okay, so here, and, and like I said, um, don't be afraid to mix colors. So when you're using watercolor, and I'll, I'll show you in a moment, just kind of go for it with the colors. This is, you know, you're not getting, you're not getting graded on this. Well, at least I'm not grading you on this. And this is just something where you have an opportunity to explore and, you know, learn something new and try something new with these colors. And maybe I will add, I think I'm gonna put in a little um, blue green in here too. So check, look at this, I'm gonna add a little blue green this is just to make the bowl. You know, Cezanne used to, you know, mix, use all different um, shades and colors and they don't have to blend perfectly. It just looks, it looks interesting. And then I think I'll take some of my gray, my kind of black and gray here and just do a little shading down here to show a little bit of shadow over here, just a little bit. There we go, just underneath where the where the light the light source wouldn't um, touch. Okay, so I'm going to show you very quickly. If you watch Simple Art at Home uh, already, that during this past school year, you saw me teach how to shade in a sphere. And so this is that light spot on the apples that we're going to leave white and then we're going to shade lighter and then get a little bit darker and darker. It kind of makes um, the apples look a little three-dimensional and we're not going to do it, we're just going to gently uh, do that. It's not going to be exactly like those spheres that I just showed, the sphere that I just showed. It's just subtle because I don't have all different shades of red. So I'm using the darker color here and I'm gonna kind of curve it up and then just use water up here. So you can kind of see that it is darker red here and it gets lighter up at the top. And when it dries, I'll erase that pencil mark. So I'm gonna use that same technique over here with this apple. The darkest red, the most color will be down here. And the place where the light hits I will use just uh, water here and so it gets a little bit lighter and I may go back in and add a different color to the red but it kind of uh, gives that 
look there. So um, same thing here on this one. I'm going to make the darker red down here in kind of a curved shape because it is a sphere. And then here I'll just add water to make it look rounded. It'll all come together at the end. Okay, and again, so it's kind of a curved shape. And then I'm just going to use water up here. So if you're using crayons, just you're going to use, let me show this one again. If you're using crayons or color pencils, it's lighter here, lighter, and it gets a little bit darker, a little darker, and a little darker. And notice the shadow underneath. So I will try to do that a little bit here. And it's hard because we don't see the whole apple. And if you're doing this, if you're creating, like maybe you want to do pears or oranges, you know, this is, I always tell you that I'm just offering suggestions and you get to do your art however you want to. However you want to. Let's see if I can pull a little bit of that color up here. There we go. Okay. All right, so uh, the base below the bowl, I want to make this blue. So this will be the table. Of course, maybe you want to make the table brown. I figure if we have the opportunity, let's use whatever colors we want. I'll use a bright color here. Maybe I'll start it out bright blue and then drag it down to a white color towards the bottom down here. Kind of make it interesting. I'll go back and fill in these shadows in a moment. Let's start with the bright blue here. And then I'm going to fade it out as we get lower down on the table. Okay, so as far as the shadow goes, maybe I'll add, let's see what happens if I put a little brown in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown. It's gonna fade out. We can put some more here. We can also add, once the, once the apples dry a little bit, I might add a little brown to the darker side of the apples as well. Let's see if I add a little gray. That might be interesting. And it's okay if your paint is a little bit choppy or thick. I still think it makes it interesting. It's better than, than it just um, being a flat table. At least the shading will make it look interesting. And I might even go back and add more color to the bowl. Let's work on the background up here. You can do any colors that you want. And I think just to show you a crazy combination, I'm gonna start, I'll just start doing different, different colors up here so you get the idea. I just want mine to be, I want this to be a very colorful composition. So I'm gonna start with some orange and then I'm gonna transition it into some different colors. So I think I'll start with orange and then I'm going to take some, I'm going to move to like an orange yellow here. I think I might even add a little bit of yellow to the apples because I want the apples to be, you know, the apples are my main focus. So I might make them look a little more interesting. And then I'm gonna add regular bright yellow down here. And I'm also gonna fade out, I'll fade out this color like I did with the table.
Okay. And I think um, on this side over here, I might even add in some purple. I'm, I'm just gonna show you different options of what you can do. Just experiment. This is your chance to try something new with color. Let's see, got some purples in here. Maybe I'll even add a darker purple up here. Why not? Let's make it very colorful and interesting. And then maybe I'll fade it down again to some yellow so it kind of matches the other side. And I'll add some water. Okay. Let me spend a little more time on um, these apples because you can kind of see yeah, you can kind of see here. So I'm going to add, I want to add some more yellow highlights. Maybe I'll put some more, let me look at the bowl here. I might add some more yellow up here. And once it dries, like right now we don't see it as much, but it will, it will show up. Little yellow highlights here. I might add a little yellow around here to kind of show the light that's shining. Again, I think it just makes your art more interesting. I'm trying not to paint, let me hold this up, and I'll erase the pencil, but I'm trying not to paint, uh, I'm leaving this white, like this center part right here. Yellow, anytime that you put yellow, it'll add that feeling of warmth coming from the, the side that has the light source. So we have a little yellow there. Okay. There. And I think what I'll try to do is I'm going to experiment with adding, oh, this one down here. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of darker color to the underside of the apples. Let's start with some brown. See how that looks like to kind of darken this down here. And it's going to lighten as it dries. And I could, if, if you feel like it might be too dark, just uh, add the water to pull that through to soften it. But um, I'm going to add some little, some brown here. I'm add some brown here, like to the underside of the apples. Over here. I might add some um, darkness over here, some more on the bowl to add interest. And sometimes you have to stand back and look at your work and then you know you'll know what what you want to add, what you need to I'm gonna add a little water right here to soften that line. Maybe I'll add like a deep, a deep uh, purple color here. So Cezanne had some uh, like choppy brush strokes. So it's okay if you add some of that in. And like I said, I think it's more interesting to add different colors instead of just keeping it one flat color. So even if it's like choppy like this, I'll hold this up so you can see it. I still think it's, it makes it interesting. And let's see, I might add a little bit more. I have a, a few more minutes with you, so I'll just see what I might add to make the table look a little interesting. Adding a little purple in there with the blue. There we go. I like using uh, the crayon because it really helps to separate the watercolor. My, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna erase these pencil lines yet because I want to wait for the to for the paint to really dry before I do that. 
but um, I think, you know, if it were, if it were dry, I would erase, but I know you're probably not finished. I know I work rather quickly, so I'm just going to leave this up here for a few moments and um, you can keep painting or keep coloring. And remember, when my video finishes, if you're not finished, that's okay. Maybe your teacher will give you some time to finish up tomorrow, you know, or another day. Um, and again, I, I wanna tell you too, I don't want you to feel like your art has to be perfect. We are all just practicing and learning. I am definitely not perfect with my art and I'm still learning as I go and I make mistakes all the time, but I still have fun and that's why we're doing this. The main purpose is to have fun while we are creating art and we are learning at the same time. So I think, I'm gonna see if this is, if any of these apples are dry enough so that I can erase the marks so you can kind of see what it should look like. There we go. I would say, you know, don't rush it. If this is your artwork, you know, take your time. This feels dry. You can kind of feel it there. And you know, you don't have to draw the oval. I just wanted to show you. There, more or less. Let me just, so. I'll erase this one too. There. You never really know what you're going to get with watercolors because sometimes they, they dry differently or they blend in with a color next to them, but I think they always end up um, rather beautifully anyway. So I am going to, let me show you one more, I'll hold it up close like that. And again, this was just my suggestion. You can use any colors that you want, any fruit that you want. And now that you know how to do this, maybe you want to make some more at home, even if you're just sketching and you can actually put, if you have some fruit at home, you can look at it and practice drawing from it. So I hope you enjoyed this artwork. And like I said before, if you still need more time, maybe you can finish you know, on your own time. Um, what we've done is we've drawn some Cezanne style apples and we practiced uh, making our apples look a little bit like spheres. So I will see you at the next art project. See you next time.